Okay, this is a copy of a really silly video. Everything didn't know basic law. As if he's supposed to be a lawyer rather than a pastor. The, the video is so, it's so silly that once you watch it, it's like, why do you bother replying right now? But somebody asked me to, so I'm doing it, okay? All right, here's my first reply, which I'm recording because the guy's threatening now to, you know, delete what I said. Okay, you can pause the video and read that when you're ready. Okay, then there are four replies to it. Here's mine starting out. Pause the video when you finish reading. Read more. Read more. And I'll just keep going on like this. Then here's this guy's really long reply, and I'm not replying to all of what he said. I'm not bearing false witness. He's saying that theme doesn't know law, as if he's supposed to. Of course, this guy doesn't know anything about law, as you'll see. There we go. Your good graces. The, the timing is off. You know, like he's replying after some of what I said, so it's really hard to know. Dun, 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 dun. He doesn't understand about appeal trial. He doesn't. He thinks that an appeal is supposed is not supposed to be allowed if the evidence is incontrovertible. See, if the evidence is irrefutable, it can't be appealed. That's not how appeal trial wor law works. That's not even what it's for. Okay. He doesn't know the first thing about appeal laws of appeal. Okay. Nor are any of God's judgments and verdicts mutable. Yeah, they are. God, that's what, that's what the whole thing is here for. God is basically saying, hi, here's what I do. If you think I'm wrong, show me why. And, of course, we can't show him wrong because he's not wrong. But that doesn't mean he's a tyrant. See, he's mixing up freedom with being right. That's not the point. Okay, and then here's my stupid reply. And again, see, appeal is a process in law allowing a decision to be reversed. That's what appeal means. He doesn't even understand that. It has nothing to do with how right you are. It has to be a process in law for freedom and justice. Okay, so here's my copy of the post. Actually, I've already got that. It's down here, right here. And then he goes in to look at this. He can't even separate paragraphs. Okay, let me let me do this. So this guy, well, it's his own post. He won't delete his own post. No appeals under the Mosaic standard. He doesn't know anything about the Mosaic law. He was full of appellate appellate standards. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm skipping over his stuff because he's not going to delete his own comment. All right, I just have to preserve mine. There we go. And Codex number three had a lot of appeals built into it. So delete my post or not, I don't care. That's my last post on this. Okay. And then he makes this other comment that was right up here. Long awkward silence. What long awkward silence? 
I was no longer, what, because I didn't reply to him within six hours? So, you know. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now I'm typing in, that's the last, you know, this is my actual last post. But this was posted at the, at the, because I didn't notice. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to add to it, and that's what, I'm going to just keep the video running. Reply to others. There you go. Sky's argument shows he doesn't understand the Mosaic Law nor copyright law because fair use isn't properly made when the actual copyright says you can't do it at all. The actual copyright for theme materials by Bobby, who is themed son, says, even to us at the church, we're not allowed to use it at all. I can't take the stuff I got, even though I'm part of the church. I can't post it any of it, at any time. That's a violation of copyright. The terms of the copyright govern what you can do. Fair use has nothing to do with it. So he doesn't understand copyright law. The fair use law has to do with when the copyright itself is silent. But the copyright in this particular case is not silent. It says, hi, you can't use it at all without permission. At all. Well, he's not getting permission, okay? He doesn't know any any system of law, okay? Now, I can keep on printing to him stuff he won't or can't understand or I can leave. I'm leaving. You are welcome to see this thread as it will be created on this topic in Frank Forum. I don't know when I'm going to create it, but I will. You know, because i got to talk to some other people who asked me to come here. This typing is being recorded as a separate video to preserve all the text so you can view it at will. Casey starts to make comments or delete it. Okay, so now there you go. What is this? See, he can't, the first, the first tag, okay, of this poor guy, I feel sorry for him, all right, no appeals under the Mosaic Standard, that doesn't, that's not true, he doesn't, he doesn't know what the appeals are, like numbers 527 is an appeal, 
That's if, you know, a woman is being accused of adultery. Instead of just stoning her, the appeal is you go to the priest and he gives you some water. And if you don't die, then you weren't unfaithful to your husband. And, and it's not necessarily even die. It's more the actual wording in the verse is if you don't have an abort, if you don't abort, meaning that the woman is secretly pregnant and doesn't tell her husband. In other words, it'll only harm the fetus. Of course, obviously, if she aborts and it's not her husband's kid, then, of course, then she lied to him and she should be stoned. That's an appeal. The other appeal that's really common that any Jew can tell you is, hi, if you're accused of murder, you run to what was called in the law a safe city. And then you grab on the horns of the altar. And there's a couple of famous stories of that happening. I want to say it was Joab, but it might not be Joab. I'm just talking off the top of my head. There are a lot of appeals that are built into the Mosaic Law. He doesn't understand that. See, no appeals under the Mosaic Standard. He doesn't know that. See, once convicted, the punishment is executed, whether to, no. Okay, and that has nothing to do with Satan. Satan is not under the Mosaic law. Okay? Satan made accusations against God to make his rebellion appear justified. Okay? Yes, he did. All this part he's right about. Okay? You pretend as if there's irrefutable legal evidence of God having a pure motive. Yeah, there is irrefutable legal evidence of God having a pure motive. It's all over the Bible. I, I'm not the only Christian who knows about it. That kind of the kind of evidence that one can flop on a table. There wasn't. Uh, yeah, there is. God could have killed me in the womb and didn't. Psalm 139. That's true for all of us. Each one of us is evidence of God having a pure motive. Because what can you do for God? Nothing. So if He didn't have a pure motive, why are you breathing? He doesn't need you. You need Him. Why am I existing? Every day I wake up, I ask God that question. Why do you put up with me? So there's your pure motive right there. I'm evidence. So are you. See, he, his, his, I don't know where this poor guy's brain is going. Okay? But it's cuckoo. He's all tangled up with his notions. He said he's got some parts of it, you know, like right here. He's right about that. So some parts of what he's saying in here are right, but he's all tangled as to where he goes with the right part, and then he draws the wrong conclusion. And why the heck does he need to focus on theme? Theme isn't the only guy who says this. The Bible says that, first of all, that it's an appeal trial. Matthew 25, 41 is a very clear verse on that. See, because the fire has been prepared for the devil and his angels, but they're not there yet. So then why aren't they there yet if they're already guilty? Because it's on appeal. Okay? He doesn't seem to understand that. Once convicted of the criminal offense, the punishment is executed, whether it be. Well, but see, Satan and company are already declared guilty. How come they're not in the lake of fire now? See? There's your proof that it's an appeal trial. Right there. You don't even need to care about theme or me or this guy or anybody. Why is Matthew 25, 41 not executed now? He doesn't understand that. Highlighted in blue, he doesn't see that. Okay? So, what do you want to say about all this? You pretend as if there's irrefutable legal evidence of God having a pure motive. Yeah, I'm it. So is he. So are you. God doesn't need us. If he didn't have a pure motive, why did he make us? He's either got a pure motive or he's the stupidest person who ever lived. Because would you make something that caused you trouble on purpose? I don't think so. This is why there's no appeal because the first trial is still ongoing and even during the time of testing of Christ. Huh? Huh? No, the first trial is Christ. And the book of Hebrews tells you that trial is over. Psalm 110.1 tells you that trial is over. So I guess I'm going to say one more, one last thing. One last thing.
Ukrainian bylaw. This is it. There you go. There we go. Your notions here are partly right, partly wrong, wholly confused, and you aren't reading Bible very well. Christ was on trial, and that trial is over. Book of Hebrews, Psalm 110, which I was just saying before I started typing it. Matthew 2541 is not yet executed, has appeal trial is the only conclusion. He's not getting that. There's also the issue of mistrial, and I spent a long time on that in uh, Lord B. Satan 4, which is Satan's core contention, which you also don't grasp. So look, you can come argue in Frank Forum, where you're allowed to edit your posts and better form your thoughts. Here you aren't and can't do that, so I won't reply again recording ads. That's it. Sorry, this is all a journal video to prove that what was said and what wasn't said.